Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI behavior tree decorator, the is at location node. Let me go ahead and switch over to our example and I'll show you how it works. So right now I have a little AI character and he's basically emulating a simple follow me movement. I'm using the is at location to constantly check and see if he is at the location of my player. If not, I move him to the location of my player and then it continues indefinitely. If he's at the location of my player, then he stops and he does nothing. So let's take a look and see how that works. So our is at location decorator, like any other decorator, can be attached either to a composite node or a task node by right clicking, adding decorator, and you can choose is at location. Now by default, is at location is going to come in with no blackboard key, but of course the first time you click on it, it's going to default to your first valid location. Now the is at location wants a location, a vector, and that's what it's going to use if this pawn that you're controlling with the AI behavior tree is at that location. Now for the nodes itself, the parameters, we have acceptable radius, use nav agent goal location, and inverse location. Basically, the acceptable radius is the radius from its origin point to your goal location and whether it is within that radius. This is something important to keep in mind. By default, you're going to find 50 is your acceptable radius. Now, if I run this, you're going to see something happen. Now, it looks like our player has reached our goal. Our enemy has reached us. If we look at this, you'll see it's still running. Well, the problem is 50 is in centimeters, and our player itself is around 50, along with our AI itself, and it's not big enough. If we were to change this to 100 and run it again, you're going to notice that AI comes over to us, and you're going to notice the behavior tree has stopped running, and is at location inverse has failed because we are now successfully at our goal. So, use nav agent goal location. Basically, if we're moving to an actor, and this actor is a navigation agent, then we'll move to their nav agent location. This is a way to find other actors rather than locations. Now, it doesn't really work properly for whatever reason, but by default it's turned on and you should use it. Inverse condition basically flips the check. The check by default is, are we at this location? And if so, execute our composite node. Since we want to see if we're not at the location and move to it, we use our inverse. So if I was to run this as it is now, we're going to find it's going to fail because our player location is here and our AR location is here. And of course, they're not the same. So because they're not the same, is that location is not true and our node is not going to execute. We flip this. And as you can see here, we have a really simple follow AI. Every time my selector primary fires every basically 0.2 seconds, the player's location is updated. We check to see if our pawn is at that location. And if it's not, because we have it inversed, we go and run our sequence, which is a simple move to player location. Now the other option on here is slightly essential. It is our blackboard key. And this is where you need to put in your vector, which is the location you will be going to on your is at location check. So we're basically going to check and see if the attached pawn its location is equal to or not equal to the blackboard key value here, which is a vector three, and then the sequence executes. So that's it. That is what an is at location is for. There used to be the reached move goal node. It was replaced, it was removed technically, and then the is at location was used. So if you are referring to older documentation, you may see the reached move goal that is no longer available. We're now using the is at location node, and those are the documentation for the is at location. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.